Hi guys, welcome back to Candle of the Week, Michael, episode 13. Yes, guys, today we have another epic candle. As you know, a few videos ago, I made an experiment using my beautiful fragrance oils, my favorite fragrance oils from 1617. And I tried blending them with a flaming candle uh, to make a different kind of vibe. And as you know, it was a big fail. <sighs> These beautiful oils, they don't mess around, guys. They don't want to be mixed with anything else but themselves. <laughs> yeah! So today we're going to do that on my candle of the week with Michael. And it's going to be uh, Valentine's Day very soon. So I'm going to team, I'm going to make a beautiful floor, guys, inspired by this beautiful vessel. Yes! This is the Blush Iridescent Evermore Cylinder. It's available at 1617. Okay, let me just read you a little bit about it. Let me just, pretty in pink, a blush iridescent candle vessel is opulent and elegant. Yes! The high gloss interior paint dazzles with an exterior iridescent that simply shimmers. Look at how beautiful the finish is, guys. Look at the beautiful inside. And look at the beautiful iridescent finish. Love pink. This candle jar is your perfect pair. Okay. Recommended fill is 13 ounces. All the many makers prefer 14 ounces. I prefer 14 ounces. So I'm gonna fill it up with 14 ounces. Okay. Let's see. You can use this. You can use the metal leads for this. Look how beautiful it looks with the gold. And I don't think I have another. So anyway, just go to the website 1617.com and you're gonna see the different uh, options you have. I think they're luxurious enough. I think they're beautiful, the finish, and just, I just wanted to showcase the beautiful wax. And for this application, we're gonna be double wicking two CDN number threes, okay? And let me show them to you. Also available at 1617. So I'm gonna be using a double CDN number three for this vessel. And let me just read you a little bit more about the, let's see, what else they have in here, the information. I'm looking at the website. I just wanna make, make sure that I don't. Every more cylinders are reusable and recyclable. Take care not to scrape the interior paint when cleaning the vessel, yes. Uh, because it was painted on the inside, you have to be careful when you remove uh, any kind of uh, wicks, uh, the wick tabs, not to scratch it. What I usually do is I take, I put a uh, dish, uh, dump dish liquid and uh, with hot water and let it soak. And then I take the, this uh, silicone spatula and then just very carefully just remove the wick tab. Okay guys, and that's gonna be, it's gonna preserve the beautiful finish, okay. And today, guys, I want to experiment. Let me just put this in here so you can see the beautiful bed. And today we're gonna be experimenting with this one, two, three, four, five, and six different oils from 6017 because I wanna come up with a beautiful floor with a beautiful combination. So I'm gonna get all my test tips set up in here on, on the desk and I'm gonna just change the angle so you can have a better view. And then let's get the fun begin, yeah! Okay, so guys, before I start doing the test tips, Let's get the, the vessel set up because as you know, this is the uh, the step that I really dislike the most and I just want to get, get it over with and just let's wick the vessel. So I'm going to take double CDN number threes. Okay. I'm going to take the wick kit from 1617, especially, done, especially made for this vessel. First, we have to clean up the vessel and I'm going to wear my gloves because this is metal glass and I don't want to put any fingerprints. Yes, guys, always wear gloves when you're working in your candles because you don't want to put fingerprints. And also for sanitary reasons, I think it's a good idea, you know, for you to get used to this. Always have a bottle of alcohol like this ready for you. And I, I, I love using this microfiber cloth so it doesn't leave any lint. So in love with the finish of this beautiful blush vessel. It blush is iridescent. Perfect for Valentine's Day, it's perfect for spring. I think this is perfect for any, you know, any occasion, you know? Perfect for weddings. It's so beautiful, so rom uh, romantic, you know? Now, this is the wig kit, guys, that you buy at 1617. It, it has the, a wig placer and the wig uh, holder in here. So then you just put this in here at the bottom and look, it fits perfectly in there. I'm gonna be using my favorite stickers. Also from 1617, these are the best glue stickers that I've ever found. I love them, you know, it's always get in place. They are so easy to to take from here for the roll. It's so easy because it's just a roll paper, uh, of, uh, of stickers, so they're very easy to handle, you know. When you buy the the sheets at Amazon, they're like big sheets, and then you have to, to go between them and just pick them up. This thing is a breeze. Okay, so I'm gonna place the first one. So I like to use the silicone straws 
You can use any straw, a plastic straw is fine. So what I do, I, I like to hold it, pinch it in there, get rid of this paper, and then just, it's so easy guys, this just, you know, just put it in there and it just tells you where to place it perfectly, you know? Which like I was telling before guys, uh, the best way to, to make this guys is to keep them an inch apart, an inch or an inch and a quarter apart at the center of the candle that beautiful and then just pinch it really well guys because you're not going to have any other chance to secure this to secure them really well now take this this is going to keep them in place so that way they are perfectly placed okay on perfect combination the top placer and and the bottom wick okay okay so having him a test strip in here the first one is lumber street and i'm gonna pinch the end because easy for me to hold i want you to see them so i'm gonna put them in here Second one, Florencia. I love combining oils from 1617, I think, because they are such high quality and each oil tells a story, guys. I love it. Okay, the third one is Le Jardin. Again, what I'm trying to accomplish is a floral, a floral candle. The next one is You Wish. And you know what, guys, by all means, try doing your own mix. You know, like I was telling a few of my subscribers. Okay, the next one is the, Nebale the Malevolent Mrs. Heather Leaf. And the last one is Egomaniacal Green. I want to have a kind of like a green note in there also. So I'm going to go to the website and I'm going to read you the different uh, notes and the different story for the different fragrance oils, okay? For those of you that, not, that are not familiar with uh, 1617 fragrance oils, uh, what I like about them is that they sell bundles of different fragrance oils. Like for example, if you buy the, the sample number one, and it has three oils, Florencia, Calle 23, and Mojave. So take a look at them, you know, uh, take a look at the, the different oils. And as you research them and as look at the notes, then you make the, your decision now, okay, which blend do I wanna? Okay, the first one that I'm gonna make a sample strip is Lumber Street. Okay, let me just read you the information about this one. Okay, a well-rounded, and slightly fruity floral, Lombard Street boasts notes of damask rose, green stems, intoxicating black currant, and soft musk. I'm not gonna smell that, I'm just gonna put it as a nod to the famous Rose Line Street in our hometown of San Francisco. Lombard Street is fantastically unique, okay? The fragrance family is floral, the top note, damascina rose, middle note, black currant, base note is musk. Okay, so I'm gonna put it in here. Next oil is Florencia. So we're talking about Florencia. The battery just died, so I just, I'm, I'm just gonna uh, start from the beginning of Florencia. Okay, so Florencia, Florencia, meaning in bloom in Spanish, Florencia also connotes prosperity as in to flourish. A modern white floral bouquet with a warm and addictive finish is rounded with base notes of tonga vanilla with dark and dark narcissus. Yes, okay. The fragrance family is also floral. The top note is Bulgarian rose. Middle note, white orchid. Sophistication, yes. And the base note is Tonga Manila. Okay, guys, yes. Okay, so let's make a test tip out of this one. I'm so excited about these guys. I'm so excited. Okay, and you know, I'm not smelling them. I just want to make the test tips and just leave them to the side. Next one is Le Jardin. Yes, beautiful, guys, beautiful Le Jardin. It's one of my favorites. Okay, let me find it on the website in here. Okay, here we go. And they all have five stars. Truly a garden of joy. Le Jardin fused, fuses delicate tea rose and exotic cherry blossom with bright green vessel for a graceful verdant floral. Yeah, it's feminine and botanical. This recherche fragrance is, a, is, a, is as uncommon as, it's, as it is exquisite. The fragrance family is floral and green. Top note, tea rose, middle note, sweet grass and cherry blossom. And the base note is base, uh, basil and black tea. Yes! Okay, let's do a taste trip of Le Jardin. And let's see how it does on my testing. Beautiful, beautiful. I'm not smelling it, I'm putting it. Okay, I'm so glad that I'm putting it aside that way. Okay, the next one is You Wish because we all wish something, guys. Let me just find it on the web starting here. You Wish is a sophisticated and sultry fragrance, exclusive to 1617, seductive and smoldering, 
our ultra feminine and intense you wish both notes of arabian jasmine galbanum labdanum and vanilla this dark humid flora is provocative exotic and unique yes fragrance families oriental floral very exotic guys top note arabian jasmine middle note galbanum base note labdanum and vanilla yes okay <sighs> This makes all your wishes come true, guys. This beautiful sense you wish. <sighs> yes. It's truly magic. It's truly, truly, truly a work of art. All these beautiful oils. <laughs> beautiful. <sighs> and when you find something like this, you don't want to mess with them, okay? The next one is the malevolent Mrs. Halloween. Yes. Here she is. Okay, let me find her. Okay, let's talk about this one. The Malevolent Mrs. Hello Leaf is a gender neutral, unique fragrance with broad appeal. Floral and fruity top notes mingle with earthy, spicy white geranium, merging with masculine base notes of thick wood and spiced cinnamon. Evil and genius indeed. Yes! Okay. The fragrance family is fresh and earthy. Top notes jasmine and sweet raspberry. Middle note white geranium. Base note, spice cinnamon, and thick wood. Yeah, there you go. Come on, Malevolent. Let's make a test trip of Malevolent, Mrs. Hella Leaf. <sighs> Beautiful, guys. I'm gonna have so much fun smelling all this for you once more. The least, but not the last one, guys. Egomaniacal Green. Yes! Guys, this fragrance, at the beginning when I smelled it, I I was not too keen of it, but then you realize what a beautiful, a green scent makes, you know, it makes you feel fresh, spring, oh my God, the energy that it gives you, it's amazing. So I wanna make, mix that with the floral and just enjoy, okay, description. Fresh, okay, fresh, aromatic, and also green. This extremely unique fragrance boasts notes of calamus, ozone, and petrichor. A complex blend of fresh, clean, and bright green grasses mingled with ozone and earth, like the aroma of the first rain after a long, hot summer. Egomaniacal Green is our freshest and greenest fragrance yet. Yes! The fragrance family is clean, uh, clean and flesh. Top note, calamus, middle note, ozone, base note, petrichor. Yes! Okay, let's make a test trip out of this beautiful fragrance. Yes! Okay, and I'm gonna put it aside. Okay, here, our last uh, test trip, guys. Guys, I'm gonna take a break because I'm gonna open the window, so I get fresh air coming in, and we're gonna start, me, uh, and we're gonna start doing the testing, okay? Yes! Okay, guys. Time to have some fun with the fragrance oil, okay. The first one that I'm gonna try is Lumber Street. This beauty here, guys. <sighs> top, the top note is Damascena Rose. <sighs> Middle note, black currant, and the bottom note is musk. It smells, I like the freshness. You know, it's funny because I open up the window and now the, it just finished raining right here and you, and you smell the, the fresh air of the rain and you mix it with this beautiful oil, guys. It's very, uh, it's kind of, uh, the first note that I noticed is the green on, on this. And it's so fresh, so springy, so beautiful. Uh, the roses is in the background. Um, I like this one a lot, okay? But I prefer this one mixed with something else, okay? So let's see. Let me smell the other one. Let's see what I think about Florencia, guys. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna smell them all first and then I'm gonna start mixing them, okay? Oh my goodness, this is truly, truly, truly a floral. Okay, Bulgarian roast, the white orchid, top and, and middle notes together is glorious, very sophisticated. This smells like a very expensive, ultra mega expensive perfume. And the tongue of vanilla, of course, embraces everything and it makes it very comfy, very loving, very romantic. Amazing, truly, truly an amazing fragrance, guys. By itself, I would love it, okay? This is tough, guys, because these fragrance oils, uh, they're so good by themselves that sometimes it's a crime mixing them, you know? But I just wanna make this just for you, just an experiment, okay? Beautiful. 
Oh my God, this is gonna be really tough. The next one is Le Jordan. Okay, this is a complete, total different vibe. This one is also uh, has the background of the grass or the greenery. It makes it smell so fresh. So it's different from Florencia because this one is more like, it's not as sophisticated, it's not as formal as Florencia. This one has more casual, more like letting loose, you know, open up the window. Spring is here, a lot of fun. So yes, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful leisure than beautiful. Again, everybody, every 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 scent has its own story, its own book, its own movie. I love it so much. Okay, the next one is You Wish. Boy, this is gonna be really tough for me, guys. <coughs> you Wish. <sighs> oh my goodness. Top note, Arabian Jasmine. <sighs> Mid note, Galbanoon. Base note, Labdan Labdanoon and Vanilla. Again, this is another beautiful <sighs> story. Telling fragrance oil. <sighs> Again, this is more sophisticated than the other, uh, than the Ledger Dan. <sighs> it's, it's a true floral for me, uh, but it's not like a wedding type of uh, uh, fragrance oil. It's something more generic, it's something more whimsical, it's something more. It's magical, you know, it's like, it's like what it says, you wish. The name, it really says what this fragrance is all about. It's about, okay, I wish for something, I wish for, for happiness, I wish for health. <sighs> beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. My God, it's gonna be really tough. <sighs> My goodness, okay. The next one is the Malevolent Mrs. Halloween, yes! With top notes of Jasmine and ra Sweet Raspberry. Mid nose, white geranium. Bottom nose, white uh, spicy cinnamon and thick wood. Here we go. This is deep, romantic. Okay, this has to be part of my candle. Okay, this has spoken to me right now, guys. And this is the one that I wanna use as the main character for this candle, guys, because it's spoken to me. The universe tells me that I must use this fragrance oil for this candle, okay? So this is gonna be the main subject, guys. It just spoke to me. It just told me I wanna be your candle. <sighs> Beautiful, amazing, amazing, truly, truly, truly amazing, okay? So this is gonna be the main character of the candle of the week today, okay? Beautiful. <sighs> next one, the next one is Egomaniacal Green. Top note of Camus. Beautiful, oh my God. Mid notes, mid notes, middle notes of ozone and the base of this petrichor. Okay, this is pure spring. Okay. I'm gonna take this out for today's candle of the week, guys, because this one is telling me I don't wanna be part of this, of this candle. And I have to listen to my heart tells me, the universe is telling me, okay, this is beautiful for not for this candle. So I'm gonna put it aside. It's a beautiful scent. There's nothing wrong with it. It's not for today's candle, okay? Yes! That's why I have to tell you guys, I'm glad that I'm doing this with you so you know uh, what, what comes to my mind when I'm trying to blend this beautiful candle, okay? And I'm gonna take the vessel now and I'm gonna take it with me right now, okay? And I'm gonna look at it and I'm gonna, Smell the malevolent Mrs. Halloween is gonna be part of this beautiful vessel. I don't have a name for this. Hopefully the name will come while I'm taping with you guys. Okay. Let me see, okay. I wanna blend this with Lombard Street. Oh my God. It's like I'm... I'm tingling inside because these two together are so magical. They really touch my heart. This combination, it's hard for me to describe. It's just the energy that it's bringing me, it's poor love, it's true love. It's, it's just amazing. Okay, wow. Let me just put it to the side. Guys, it's gonna be, 
it's gonna be really hard for me to choose. Okay. But I wanna give all of them a chance. Next one is Florencia, Andy Malevolent, Mrs. Heatherleaf. <sighs> Beautiful. <sighs> wow, wow. The name is coming to me, guys. The name is coming to me. This is truly magical. So I'm gonna keep going. There's your Dan. You see, guys, I have to listen to my heart and I have to listen to what this vessel is telling me, guys. I just, I just, I just wanna make the, uh, the perfect pair. Okay? Uh, did I do Ledger Dan? I think I did Ledger Dan. Wasn't that Ledger Dan that I just did? <sighs> no, it doesn't wanna be with here. Okay, the last, the last one is You Wish. And the malevolent Mrs. Heatherleaf. Okay, let's see what happens. No. The winner is Florencia. Yes. Oh my God. Give me the name. Okay guys, I got the name for the candle. The universe spoke to me, guys. Again, and this candle is gonna be called Garden of Eden, okay? Oh my God. The beautiful, beautiful. Oh my God. And the Garden of Eden. Yes! And I'm looking at the computer in here now, and I wanna tell you guys, what is the meaning of Eden, okay? I'm looking at Google, okay? Uh, the place of pleasure and delight, okay? Yes, yeah, the name Eden means place of pleasure and delight. It's a magical, peaceful name with biblical roots and he uh, Hebrew uh, origins. According to the Bible, the Garden of Eden was God's gift to the first humans, Adam and Eve. Yes! Beautiful! Okay, guys, so here it is. The Garden of Eden is here! Yes! Now, I'm gonna start making the candle, guys. I'm gonna start uh, measuring the oils. It's gonna be equal parts, Florencia. And the malevolent Mrs. Hadley. This is a winning combination. It's pure love. It's pure pleasure and delight. Okay, let's start making this beautiful candle. Yeah! Okay, guys, so we got the numbers. Yes, let me get the calculator so I can show you. So, we know the total feel of this beautiful vessel. It's going to be 14 ounces, okay? So for that, that's 14 ounces, including the fragrance oil and the wax, okay? So figure out, okay, the numbers, okay? If we have here 14, which is the amount of wax, the total fill for the whole candle, multiply by 0 0.10 equals 1.4 ounces of fragrance oil, okay? Now, what we do is, we take 14, which is the total fill, minus 1.4, which is the amount of oil, equals 12.6. Okay, so we need 12.6 ounces of wax and 1.4 ounces of fragrance oil. Yes! And because we are using two different oils, we divide 1.4 divided by two equals 0 0.7 each. Okay, so each fragrance oil is gonna be 0 0.7. Okay, so we got the numbers. Okay, so here we go. You see how you see this, guys? It's not really rocket science. It's very simple. Once you start doing this, you're always, you know, gonna get it right. Okay, so let me just put this away. I'm here my scale now, and then I have my beaker. And remember, 0 0.7 fragrance oil each. Okay, so I'm gonna take my pipettes. Okay, we're almost there. Just a tiny bit more. 0 0.7 perfection. Oh my God, this smells so good, guys. Then tear. Put oil number two, Florencia. This is magical, guys. Garden of Eden, yes! A place of pleasure and delight. Oh my God, this combination is, is pure magic. I'm telling you, pure magic. These oils by themselves, they're amazing. But making this blend, guys, that's what I, I tell you guys. Try doing different blends, you know? You don't know what you're gonna find. You're gonna find something that you're gonna love. Okay, so here's magic potion. I pull this away. Start thinking about the name. It's just I have to be in. I have to be 
smelling the fragrance oils, looking at the at the vessel, you know, what do I want? What to me uh, Valentine's Day is? It's a, it's a day, it's a friendship, it's for love, it's for intimacy, it's for, you know, to be wicked, you know, why not, you know? We all want to be naughty sometimes, don't we? Yes, okay. So let me just put this to the side. Now I need to get the wax, and for the wax, we need 12.6 ounces of wax, guys. Yes! And I have it here. Beautiful Pyrex, because we're gonna do it in the microwave like I always do. Let me get the wax. Beautiful. I'm gonna put the wax in the microwave for six minutes, and I'll be right back. Yes! To 11, I'm gonna put it for 30 more seconds. I mean, it could be okay, but I want it a little bit hotter. I'm gonna put it for 30 seconds. I'm gonna get some paper towels. 216 is fine. What we want is because when I'm gonna put the oil, it's gonna go down in temperature. And I wanna be able to be above one, uh, 200 when we put the oil because it goes down really fast. I'm gonna show you now. 199, you see? 20 seconds is all you need to mix when you're using with number seven wax, which is perfect. Now we're gonna let it cool until between 180 and 185 before we pour. 197, okay. So I'm gonna mix for a little bit longer. Be careful you're touching this, it's extremely hot, guys. Oof. And if you wanna let it cool a little bit faster, guys, like I told you on the video, I can always pull off the paper towel and that's gonna allow the stainless steel table to really uh, cool this even faster because the stainless steel grabs the heat from the vessel, from the glass, and it makes it cooler. That's why, guys, I was telling someone also on, on some of the groups, you know, how come uh, when they work on 464 soy wax and they get sinkholes or, you know, yeah, stuff like that, um, it's because when the candle, especially now, especially now during the winter, when the candle cools so fast, so it's, it's, it's not cooling evenly, that's what happens, you get sinkholes, you know, and you get, it's not, it, it's not cooling evenly, you know, so I told him, you know, try maybe put him inside a box or put it 191 or putting something uh, like a rubber thing or something like that, uh, it will give uh, insulation so the candle will cool gradually. That doesn't happen with number seven wax, that's why I love it so much. Number seven wax for me is for me, you know, everybody's different. It doesn't have to cure for a week. To me, 24 hours is plenty of curing time. So having here, I'm gonna get a nice background to put it on this side and take pictures and a mini video of the candle after it solidifies. 192, so I'm gonna stop stirring it and I'm just going to get ready to pour. But I can feel the stainless steel got very hot. It's, it's drawing all the heat out of the out of the glass, uh, out of the pirate's glass measuring cup. It does really work. 182, time to pour. Yes! Welcome to Earth. Yes! Beautiful, beautiful. Look at the mess that I'm making. Yes! Oh my goodness. And the Garden of Eden is born. Yes! Okay, guys, let me just clean up and I'll be right back. Yes! Hi, guys. Welcome back to the end of the video, guys. Let me present to you the beautiful Garden of Eden candle. On Candle of the Week with Michael, episode 13, okay? This is the candle of a place of pleasure and delight, okay, guys? Because we all deserve a little bit of pleasure and delight every once in a while, okay? So, again, the combination that I'm making for this candle is equal parts, the malevolent Mrs. Heatherleaf and Florencia from 1617. So basically everything you're seeing here is available at 1617. I'm gonna link everything below guys. And here are the other beautiful contenders that I use. But I'm telling you guys, each and every one of the scents from 1617, they are beautiful, they have their own story, their whole, they tell a story of love, of passion, of mystery, of uh, surprise. So, you know, I just wanted to make an experiment today just to make something different and to share with you, okay? Again, guys, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, share my content with all your friends and your family, and don't forget to visit my website, candleromance.shop, so you can purchase all my beautiful candles, guys. Go check it out, okay? 
As you know guys, I go live every Sunday on my live streams, okay, at 12 noon Pacific Standard Time or 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, okay guys, so I hope you go and watch me there on Sundays, and, and again guys, thank you for more for spending a little bit of time with me today, and I'll see you in the next one, yes, yes.